Mickey games for a bit. Play about hour max, I suppose, again. Um, sorry, that was an advert playing in the background as I monitor the stream. <laughs> Um, okay, so first game I'm playing is Slime Escape by Dom Harris, who's a developer I know a bit from a developer meetup group I go to. Um, so I did play an early version of this when it was in progress, so I'd be interested to see how the finished thing is compared to that. So, without further ado, it's like a. It's, it's described as a fun, fast paced, speedrunnable platformer. The fastest time being 11.64 seconds. Now, I'm terrible at platformers. I've got a little preface <laughs> before I play by saying that, so I doubt I'll be able to beat that time, but let's just have a look anyway. Um, okay. Settings. Okay, cool. This is nice music. Challenge road. Really difficult, I mean, you have to be really on, on it. 
gonna beat it at least. Ah! So just tuning in, I'm playing um, slime. Platformer. I'm playing. I thought I'm playing uh, Slime Escape by Dom Harris. Ah! On the Dom Dari. Ah! So, um, yeah, it's quite fast paced, it fits the theme well. Ah! I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure it was made of Unity, I think. the kind of like ambient glow around the slimer. Ah. Graphics are uh, some nice like particle effects and like, little touches on the 2D graphics which well, I'm a lot of retro is kind of like I'm trying to get it so I can beat this level. Code 27 deaths, oh my god. Terrible. Leaderboard as well. I was Slime Escape by Dom Harris. 27 deaths. <laughs> uh, There's a leaderboard for deaths as well. So some people never died. As if. Someone's done it in 10 seconds. Try and do it a bit faster then. I will more we'll go a bit doing it faster now. Really. How do you do it in 10 seconds? Oh right, you just have to do it from the you have to do it from the top. So let's try and I'm just gonna try and get a fast score. And then I'll go to the next game. But it's uh, well made. That's it. Done. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. Um just gonna rate that now. Slime Escape. Yeah, Slow Slime Escape by Dom Harris on Ludum Dali. It's pretty fun. I really like the graphics on it. I like the audio of the music quiz. Um, just did the trick while, whilst, I mean the music was like not intrusive, I don't know. The music wasn't in your face but it was, it was, it's good background music I suppose. Uh, like, like you want in a platformer I suppose. So really good. It's quite challenging at first, but I mean, uh, yeah, platforms aren't my forte, so so that one stops that one. So let's find another game. I think the Ludum Dale site's working well enough. It was uh, a bit slow before. But Let's find something else. Oh, 
Oh, come on. There we go. It still seems to blind trust. What the hell is that? That's just weird. So. Oh! Huh? So, oh, why am I on London Daily 40? What the hell? <laughs> okay, uh, Deity of Destruction. Hmm. This sounds quite interesting. Uh, that's quite mad. So, I'll go with this. So, what's this? This is by us, a team effort. Rumio Kuro and Vila Strum. Uh, God of Destruction. It's a few different attacks, it looks like. Let's just see how it is just to get into it. Let's download this. If you're just tuning in, I'm just playing Ludum Dare. 42 games for uh, about an hour or so probably in the morning just waking up mm. there we go since that downloaded let's get that to the folder Deity of Destruction, let's have a go at this. This is made of Godot. Oh, nice. Nice menu screen. Uh, I think it's yeah, full, full, full screen. Nice. Oh, full screen. Let's just see if it says in here. Oops.
Okay. Um, so that was Deity of Destruction. So, I mean, I'll just, uh, I was just trying to concentrate on the game when I was playing before to too much to give it some thoughts. So, the graphics quite interesting, I like the particle effects. It does kind of throw you to the deep end, um, it's quite confusing at first as to what you're supposed to do. Uh, so if I was going to say anything, people would say, I mean obviously it's got instructions on the, um, the page, but they also, and they do kind of make sense, but it's, it's, it is quite confusing at first because there's quite a lot of going on st straight away. Um, I seem to get the super attack things working straight away, which is good. Well, the second time of playing, um, it's a bit it's somewhat chaotic. I don't know if that how much tactic there is to it. Um, the graphics are nice. I like the little god figures, the deities. Those cubes are really nicely done as well. So, yeah, it's a good overall. It's like it looks like a kind of very original, interesting idea. Um, Fitting the theme as well, so it's good. So, it's, it's, so yeah, that's quite an interesting one. Anything to again, just gonna criticize. Be nice if, I don't know, there probably is a way of doing this, I'm sure, but I'm not sure if we go dot what the generic kind of full screen shortcut is because it wasn't full, full screening by default, which would be nice. So, I just need to pick another game. in the chat room if, we've, if you're watching us and you've got a Ludum Dare game that you want me to play then just uh, let me know I'll uh, do a quickly do a blog post I need to put that on there <laughs> Website still playing. Right, wait, wait up. I'll just uh, I need to find another game now. So I'm gonna do that. Like I said, if you're watching this, you you've done a game for Lord and Daddy, then let me know and play it. The website still seems to be playing up a little bit. This looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna play this next. I think we're on the edge of a cliff, crowded with buildings. You have the urge to build more. You must build more. The trucks keep coming. Where do they come from? Don't run out of money, or you're fired. The building piece costs money. So you need green spots. Okay, so we've got a HTML5. That's cool. So let's just play that. Let's get into it straight away. So I'm playing Building on the Edge, and this is by The Slate. Is it a comp or a jam? Uh, I can't tell. I don't know what to tell, but it's not video, so it's just play it. Full screen, man. If it isn't full screen, I'll just download it. stuff. Mm, how do I build stuff? 
Oops, it looks the control Ah, what's in there? Okay. Oh, right. Ah, so you get stuff off the trucks. Okay, so this is following the theme quite well. In an interesting way, anyway, just gotta. Oh, So I've got to fill as many of these green parts as I can. Building stuff costs money. Uh, bank, I've got five left. I'm running out of money, I think. How do I earn money? I'm going to run out of money, Shane. Go do that. Yeah, I'll run out of money. <laughs> so how do I earn money? I thought, uh, from what I understood about that, okay. 24 I've got now. Okay. 21. There we go. Now, let's over rotate it. Can I rotate it? Odd shaped server, yeah. Cool center. Uh, I'm building on the edge of a cliff. <laughs> how do I earn money? So I don't understand yet. Is how, how does any of this earn money? on this, 3D, um, let's try that, okay, I'm going to run out of money again there, <laughs> I'm not going to earn anything, okay, so that's cleared all the trucks, how do I earn money now, no, no money's giving up, I thought if I built my green area it would give me money, but it doesn't seem to, ah, what? Why is the money going down? Shoot. I need the instructions again. <laughs> um, just escape a second. Oh, arrow key to rotate things. Build thing costs money. Covering green spots earns money. So I need to build high as well. So, okay, I got it. But I should have read that part of the instructions. So I want to build high. Yeah, so I'm just go for this. Uh, okay. Yeah, so like that. No. Come on, mate. I've got to build it. I've only got one. Let me do this. Uh, be faster on the tree. Yeah, that's a bit of a better start. That's good. Good bunch of things to start with. Right. Am I earning any money though, still? I don't see me earning money, whereas I'm sure I should be because I've built stuff up quite high. Okay, that's not happening. Come on, earn me some money. I'm building on the green space. Ah! Oh, okay. I wish we were more tactical, I guess. So, I'm playing this game where you have to basically build up these. You're on the edge of a cliff, and you have to build these blocks. But I don't seem to be earning any money. I don't know how to. communal space. What's this? Okay, so that's, that's cheap, so that's good. Doesn't like that. I mean, it fits the theme really well. The only thing is, I don't quite understand how I'm supposed to be earning any money. And it's not happening at all, because even though I'm building stuff on the green areas, nothing's going up. So I don't know if that's just me 
misunderstanding how the game works, but... Build that slope, put that on there. All, all that's happening is my bank's going down. What's that here? It's just still going down, even though I've put stuff on there. Why does it. Why doesn't it let me build it there? Does everything have to walk? I can't afford it, that's why. Okay. Um, I'm going to see... Sherry this done now. It fit the theme really well, I think. Graphics were um, good. So I'm gonna rate the graphics pretty high because they were well done, especially if they've done all the assets themselves. Which I'm not sure, but there was no audio, so I'm not gonna rate them on that. Theme was a well good fit actually this time. It's pretty innovative because it was yeah, yeah, the original idea, original interpretation of the theme. Uh, I, fun, I want to say. I found it. Um, I found it funnish. I suppose I have to call it the same thing. Um, but I was getting a bit confused by the. I mean, it's probably just me being dumb, but. I'm not sure how I was earning money by putting stuff uh, blocks down, which just didn't do so much for me. Um, there was a bit of humour in it with some of the what she said and all that. Not rating on audio because there's no point. So that's that one done. Uh, that was building on the edge by the slate. Is here, and that's got a hit on fire version, so you can just play that pretty easily. Ah, here we go. We've got some do 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 cool play through these. Now. I'm only gonna be online for a bit, so I'll just. Let's have a look. So, uh, I'm just going to play for the submissions on the chat now. So, we've got Volker. Let's have a look at this. Avoid the green. Kill the green. So, oh, it's got h 5 version as well, even better. So, this is by Cisco. Thank you very much. I recognize that name actually. Maybe from. Oh no, maybe not. I thought I recognized it from one of the other jams. Look at that, that looks so good. Okay, so I'm playing uh, Volker by well on Twitch the users Peppy 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 Sco, and the developer is Cisco. Uh, so I'll go with this. Does it say the controls? No, no, no information. Just that like anyway. See if you figure it out. I'll probably say anyway. I guess. Do, 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 do. Play. Press and hold to ring. <laughs> Oops, that was rubbish. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll get what I need to do now. Okay, so let's... Oh, no. Okay. What? Oh, I'm supposed to.
Um, so this is done with Unity. Uh, so look. Sound effects. Uh, I'm not still caught up. Open the, the page, see what I'm supposed to do. Do 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 do. Uh, so I think I'm being dumb. I'm not sh quite sure what I'm supposed to do in a minute. Um. Okay. Um. I might just. I'll ask the developer now if they're on, if they're on there. Because uh, I'm being stupid. <laughs> I thought I had to shoot that. Tap. Oh. Ow. Ah. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Where have we gone? Where have we gone? <laughs> Oh, okay. If my voice is, I'll uh, modify that now. Sorry, it's just uh, I'll turn the desktop volume down. Is that better? It should be right now, hopefully. So uh, at the minute, I'm just playing. Um, ooh, what's it called again? Oh, Volker. I'm trying to figure out how not to be rubber shadowed. Okay, cool. So before I, I got it working somehow, but then I ah, there we go. Right. Ah, nice. Right. Ah, oh, cool. Right. Okay, I got a score then. That was good. <laughs> uh, um, uh, five or something. Yeah, so I'm just um, okay. I'm, I'm gonna play this for another few minutes. Now I've just got it a bit more. So yeah, for the I'm 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 just playing a few games. I'm, I'm only gonna be playing for another hour. So uh, I might do some submissions later on. I'll just set up uh, something. I'll set up a know, spreadsheet or something maybe. If uh, but. I'll be posting on Ludum Diary about that anyway, on the website. But uh, yeah, for now I'm just this is just an experiment and just seeing if people are going to submit something than they have, which is nice. So I've had a, I've had a quick play on this Volker. Um, I'm rubbish at the game, but uh, I'm just well, it's almost got that's kind of a like Soviet style uh, font actually. That let's just escape this. I'm just going to rate this Volker, um, so we can get on to the next game, but. Um, it's kind of got solid graphics. Um, and I didn't get the game at first. Um, seems like it's got some replayability. Um, seems to be fitting the theme in terms of space. Um, graphics functional as well. Audio could have done with some music maybe, but um, 
the effect, the sound effects themselves were all right. I'm not gonna rate it on humor because it's not really that kind of game. I'm gonna swear on that. So yes, I've submitted some ratings for your game. Uh, so I'm gonna go on to the next one. So who, who's on? You still there? This that is inappropriate because I'm gonna play your game next. Like a few bits left. So next game I'm gonna play is a few bits left by oh this is a team game Nookington and push X not to not die and that's the next game I'm gonna play looks cool looks like a pixely arty kind of fighting game or something um, two adventurers seek out the ram stolen from a robot comrade wandering outside a temple is the memory hog. An evil robot hoarding memory from its brethren. Seek out the hog and get back your robot's memory before it runs out of space. So let's the trailer for this quickly. Actually, I'll just play it because it's a three minute long trailer. Uh, okay, it's an HI game. Oh, it's H15, cool. Um, so the instructions quickly. Uh, yeah, so I'm just reading the instructions. Oh, instructions are in game. Okay, cool. So I'll just play, get into it. A few, do, 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 do. yes, I do. I do make it. Uh, Hopefully you can hear me alright, the sound's quite loud. Yeah, sure. I'll, uh, I'll link you up to my game quickly. Uh, that's a link for my one, but let's just play this for now. Okay, so we've got... Uh, let's move. Bullets for all. Stun. Okay, alright. I can click on an adventure to select them. It's kind of like a action RPG kind of game, I suppose. Intelligent spirit power. Jump damage. It's oh, a Robo. So. I think I'm going to try getting these two guys. Oh, I can't mode select, but let's just try attacking this dude. Ah! There we go, just do a special attack. Try and heal. Ah, oh, that's alright health wise, anyway, so it's alright, actually. Ah! Oh, look, another dude on a. Is, that, is this. Ah! Ah! Oh no, we had an error. Um, I want to carry on playing. We're going to carry on playing this, but then there, there was. I don't know if you just saw that, but um, there was some kind of error that just popped up on the Unity player. Uh, which happens, but uh, I want to keep on playing it because um, it looks like a lot of effort has gone into it, so. And it's pretty cool as well, so, so um, it's, like an, it's like an action RPG really, if you look to it. Do, 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 do. Split these off like this, I guess. Ah! Oh, oh stupid idiot, I didn't, shouldn't have done that. <laughs> uh, The music's nice, actually. Kind of got like a ah, sh quick heal. Uh 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Cool. <laughs> nice attack. Uh, cool. So let's go forward. Uh, let's go attack these dudes. So the Ah! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! Attack him! Attack him! Attack him! Oh no, I've lost the character. Oops, Daisy. That's bad. Uh, I'm not sure if I can get that character back now, so I'm dead. That character's dead. That was bad, because that was the hammer. Ah, it's a big television screen I'm under attack by. I think this is a boss as well, actually. Ah! Okay. So it seems there is a bug of some sort. I'll just leave that up for the developer. Um, I think it's something to do with a, a set value at time. I don't know, it looks like an audio thing. Um. Yeah, there was a lot of televisions in the game. I let me know. I like it. I really like the. I guess that that was all. All those graphics were designed by the. One of the team. Nice pixel art, kind of, styly. Um, so I enjoyed that. Uh, it does look like there's some kind of bug. Um, but that's just that's part of the fun of making a game in forty-eight or seventy-two hours, I suppose. Okay, cool. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It's uh, there's some unusual element, especially like with fighting the TVs and stuff. Oh, was I? I was close to beating it. Uh, cheers. <laughs> Did try my best. Um, I will go and re rate that now. So. Um, the music was good on that as well. I really did like the music. It's um, some kind of like ambient -y kind of thing. I like that. So that was fun. It was fun as well. It was. I mean, it was following a familiar genre in some respects, but it's doing it well. And also, the, I like the special attacks element. I give it a, a lot more fun uh, to it. The game. The graphics are really nice, I think that's one of the best aspects. Uh, it's a good job, yeah. But there was a... Yeah. I'm not really, really rate it on humour because it was, wasn't really part of it, I don't think. So... I'm on to the next one. I think I've actually played Death World Dungeon, but I'll play it again. Um, I think. Let me just check. Yeah, I've played Death World Dungeon, I actually rated it already, but I'll play it again anyway because it's quite fun. Quickly, that's a bit of gold. I've already played it. But I'm going to go on to the next one now, which is. Let me just. I need to kind of keep my. Uh, like I said, it's only it's first come, first serve, so I'm going to play about. There's already about five games, so don't submit any more games now because I've already got enough to play. Uh, so I'll just say. Yeah, I'll say close or close the submissions for now. Uh, I'll play some more maybe later. Could you try our game? Okay, so I think the next one I want to now is Subway Horror Within, which sounds quite interesting. So I've rated that one, yeah. Oh, wow. That looks graphically pretty, pretty damn good. Wow. Yeah, okay, let's just go. I see what happens if we can just as a web playable version. So, um, here. play the HTML5 version, and this is by. Let's see if we Jews here.
Oh, cool. Alright, let's uh, play the game now. I farted. <laughs> Amazing. Six, six, six. <laughs> It's an interesting interpretation of the concept, actually. And the graphics are, well, really nicely drawn. I mean, that's re really nicely rendered, styly. Very. What's that? Stink bomb. <laughs> and social game. <laughs> Scare people on the tube. <laughs> uh. uh oh. So the yeah, this is what is this called again? It's subway. Uh. Ah, what have I done? I'm gonna concentrate on the game as well. Subway Horror Within. <laughs> and this is easily one of the most graphically amazing games, I'd say. It's, the, the art's amazing. Considering this is made in 48 hours, you've got to like, bow your hat to that, really. And I think this is all original artwork, it looks like. Uh, I guess I just have to last till the end of the... Uh-oh, I think I'm almost dead. Let's see if we can bait the game. Fart, go on. Ah, ah, ah. I get hurt, I think, by people walking into me. I think we're. I don't know what. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think I just murdered everyone on the train. <laughs> yeah, I just clipped the skull and uh, I killed everyone. I think. I think I just murdered people. <laughs> Try. Oh, I think the skull takes a while to load. So I won't be able to do that again anytime soon. Ow! So we've got 18 seconds left. I wonder what happens when it gets to the end. What's this? Ah, oh, no, 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 no. I'm running out of space. Ah! Shit, 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 shit. No! Eight seconds off. I was eight seconds off winning then. Right, I'll play another three minutes and try and beat it this time. I'll have to be a bit more tactical and now I know what I'm doing. Use that one. There's people through. Ah, some of them hurt you though. <laughs> yeah, I was eight seconds off winning then. I'm going to do a fart. Uh oh, I'm getting. There we go. That clears a lot of space. Wait till these come closer. Ah! Really, this is just about a combination of attack. using. well, not attacks, but. Let this old lady pass. I'm halfway through, so that's good. Just concentrating a bit more now. You have to raise your rage. Okay. That's the old. That's the the killing everybody bit. Very nice. Turn a. Uh, Yeah, I mean, this is really, really graphically amazing. And also, the gameplay is quite fun as well. It's a, a simple concept, but... Uh, I like the music as well, so I'm just thinking of it. Um, it's very urban, which fits the, the graphical theme of the being a big city, I suppose. 
some of the characters are quite funny. You're gonna got your American tourist, like kind of. Hello. That's. Ah oh, no! Come on, come on, come on! We can do this. I'm kind of not concentrating as much now. I'm trying to talk about the game and review it a bit. Ah! Oh no! Okay, so I've got to get on to other games now, but very, very nicely done that. Uh, let's see. This is the subway horror within. Uh, oh, I might. I'll switch my volume up. It's on the desktop audio because uh, I switched it down before because of audio issues. Um, but yeah. It was oh yeah, it's really enjoyable. I mean, the gra the graphics especially were, I mean, really top notch. What did you make it in, by the way? Is it make is it made in what engines are made in? Or did you oh, it's Unity, wasn't it? Of course, I just saw it before. Sorry. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna rate it now. So that's a that's a good interpretation of the theme as well. I think it was. Uh, I mean, it's kind of almost an obvious one, but not at the same time. Uh, in terms of like the being set in the subway and it's original and I really like the art I think I'm going to give it a 5 star because it's really 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 well done on the art front um, so yeah I enjoyed it as well uh, there was quite a lot of humour in that as well like a bit of dark humour, a bit of dark warped humour which is which is good which I always appreciate <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that was a really impressive one. Uh, I think, from just looking at it, I don't know, I'm sure. Oh, there were two of them, yeah, so cool. So, that was um, Subway. <coughs> Subway Horror, wasn't it called, I think? And yeah, the Subway Horror Within. So, next, I'm going to go on to Matan Cal. I'm playing your game next, and it sounds quite intriguing. It's Pyramid, Pyramidian. And then I'm going to play about. Um, I think after this, I've got about four more games I can play, and then I'm, I'm going to call it a day for now. So I'm playing Pyramidian next. Okay, so uh, okay, explore the pyramid in your quest to snatch the holy capstone located at the top. Approach carefully as there are dangers on your path, and available space becomes scarce as you approach the top of the pyramid. So this is the first full game they've ever made on Unity as well. So that's that's real. Um, cool. Let's just get into it. I think. With that. Uh, so I'll try. Is the HTML5 version alright? I'll, I'll just go for that, I suppose. Uh, so, cool, let's just go. We'll run into it. Left the night arrow key, space or arrow key to jump. Okay. Sounds pretty intuitive. Do, 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 do. This is their first full game in Unity as well. Uh, and this is the developer on name on developer's name on here is Matank. Okay, I'm gonna go for normal. Okay, so we've got some jumping, got some hieroglyphics in the background here. You know, a little bit of animation going on the arms. Right. What's this? <laughs> I love the sound of that. Have you come here to loot the Holy Stone? I think you're going to try and for so many have failed. <laughs> ah! Can I go for this door? Ah! Oh no! <laughs> I love the... I don't know if that is, I don't know what language that is, but... Okay, how do I, I need to bash this guy, I guess. How do I attack? Ugh. 
Oh, I've got to beat, beat the time, I suppose. Yeah, cool. Oh, nice. Right, so each stage is like a having to dodge a. Let me explore a bit. Ah, ah! <laughs> Just basically dodging snakes. Ah! The, ah! No! <laughs> Okay, so that's good as well, because it reboots me to the last stage, it doesn't just boot me back to the start, that's a good thing. I like the the, uh, oh, the snake, the graphics you got going here. Oh no. Oh, you get one life, you get a few lives, alright, okay. Walk the dog like an walk the snake like an Egyptian. <laughs> Alright. There you go, got you. Let's see if we can get onto the third level. It's quite difficult when it gets to two of these buggers. Um do, 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 do. Ah! Ah! Okay, I've got a little bit of time left of it. So oh. Ah! Quite difficult when there's two of them. I've got to persevere. There you are. It's fitting the theme well, actually. Ah, no. It's quite difficult in this. I mean, it's just me. I'm rubbish at this kind of hand-eye coordination thing sometimes. But ah, ah. Oh my god, that was terrible. Let's try an easy. Uh, Oh yeah, the serpents are a bit different on the easy mode than they're a bit easier to beat. So there's actually a difference, it seems, in easy and medium and hard actually does make a difference. It's much easier to beat, it's just slow, slow Python. Yeah, that's an interesting question. Do the hieroglyphics spell anything out? Maybe like some kind of Easter egg that you've hidden in there. So I should be able to beat this game now because the Snakes are a lot easier. I'm, I'm being kind of, I'm not cheating per se, but I'm on the easy mode. So, just to see what happens when I go further on. Because I'm rubbish at this kind of game. Always some chance they quote Shakespeare. Hmm, interesting. Okay, what's in here? Ah, ah, okay, it's just normal. Ah, rubbish. The normal difficulty not one now on the easy mode, so <laughs> obviously I die within two seconds. So the basic premise of this game is you're dodging snakes which in ancient Egypt on a time limit. Ah Yay Let's See how far I can get to the top Oh right, I'm thinking I'm going to the top of a pyramid, so yeah, obviously that makes sense. Pyramidian. Ah! <laughs> this is really good for someone's first Unity game. Like it's 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 got like a. I mean, I've no, I don't really use Unity. I use Unreal Engine, but this is. Uh, it works. I mean, it's not buggy. I haven't encountered any bugs yet. Ah! And it uh, does what it said. It's on the tin, and also. The graphics are quite nice as well, so I quite like the graphics. I mean, the animation on the arms are a bit is a bit strange, but the rest of it's pretty spot on, to be honest. Ah, cat and mouse, snake and mouse game. Yay! The hourglass is nice as well, like a few people have, I think, said in the chat. Uh oh. Ah, oh, of course I was going to do that. I'm going to have to, <laughs> I think I'm almost at the top now, so I want to carry on going for them. The hieroglyphics are getting less and less. Ah, just need to jump from side to side, I guess. Ah, 
I wonder how difficult it gets on normal then. I guess there must be two of the buggers. I think I'm almost at the top. Yay! Ah! I'll beat it. It was Horus, I guess. You have captured the Pyramidian. Beat the game on normal difficulty to unlock an additional difficulty mode on the main menu. Oh, cool. So, I mean, there's, there's actually um, different levels of difficulty which you then unlock different um, things, it seems like. So, um, I think that's, that's especially, like I said, for, uh, he says here it's his first game he's ever, full game he's ever made, so... So that's something to be proud of, to be honest. I mean, that's that, it's it's a fun game actually. Um, yeah, I enjoyed that. So that was a fun factor. It fits the theme because you just you're running out of space in terms of the pyramid, and also you're having to avoid the snakes. Uh, so yeah, that's that actually fit the theme pretty well. Um, yeah. Well, I'm going to go on to the next game now. Just need to find what that is. So, good work. Um, Matan Cal. Um, so, the next game I'm going to go on to is Grizzledees. Ike wears. Oh, nice. Kind of 3D. I wonder if this is the guy that did uh, the coffee game last time as well. I don't know, it just looks similar. Uh, just for one. So I'm going. I've got about. Um, I think I've got about five more games to go through. Yeah. So uh, I can't do any more after that for now. But um, I'll do. I am going to. Everyone who's on the chat, I'm going to go through your game if you've submitted something. But uh, no more submissions now. But I'll do that last one that um, we just submitted. Okay. Aki Aki wears. Let me just see. He's got a. It's got Windows, so I just need to download it. A warehouse simulation couch co-op game, so up to four players. So it's only going to be I'm only I can only to play it single player at the minute, but unless it's multiple, unless it's online, I suppose. Well, let's have a look. It looks uh, nice. You've got hard to work in a warehouse, the biggest furniture store in town. I keys. I guess that's based on IKEA, I'm, I'm assuming. <laughs> it's still going around. Organise the wares the trucks bring and put ordered wares into box and ship them. Sounds easy. With a bit of a demanding boss, getting your wage for your 9 to 17 shift won't be that easy. So it's physics based, couch, co op, uh, warehouse simulator. I'm just going to copy that and install it. <coughs> Okay. So let's get into this. Icky. This is built with, I think it's Unity. Yeah. Try it while I come. Oh, it's Java. Okay. Full screen, yeah. Uh, okay, just from Java. Uh, okay. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna check the so you can check the chat as well at the same time. Built with J Monkey Engine. Uh, yeah, so it's it's not built with Unity. I just I think it's just because so many people build with Unity, you just assume it all the time. How to play. Oh, okay, so that takes you to... Oh, it takes you to the GitHub account. Uh, da, 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 da. Don't do a CD. 
Oh, okay, so it's just, oh yeah, because like, I said it's a co-op game. So, enter to add a player. Let's just try it. I'm going to have to try it just on my own, I suppose. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> uh, okay, I need to uh, pick up the delivered goods, say it's AP. Okay, ah, how do I pick it up? E, E, E. e. Okay, ah! Yes, yes, yes. Screen's frozen. Is it? Uh, is the screen frozen? Okay, strange. It's working for me. Oh, it has as well. That's weird. Um... Bear with me a second, I think I might just have to add on there. It might be something to do with... Uh, it has frozen. I am playing the game, so that's weird. Give me the two to ticks. I think I can fix this. I just need to do it in OBS. I need to add a new screen capture. I need to capture the application, maybe, instead. So... Bear with me. Is that working? No, okay. Right. For some reason, let me just check if that's working now. Okay, there we go. Is that working for everyone now? I just, I just have to keep an eye on the chat as well. Okay, so it should be working now, yeah, cool. Sorry, I just had to. Ah! Some reason it wasn't picking it up. Ah. Uh, then me playing. It's just the new player. Oh, yeah, a new player. But I can't. It's only me playing. So I need to get another person on this. Really. Ah. I mean, I, I, mean, I guess I could do the controls myself, but. I'll pack up the yeah, yeah, yeah. Pack, ah <laughs> there we go that should pack that then let's get some more products hey, I'm just doing it all myself oh so I mean I can't really play the full thing because it's only me playing but let's I'll make some work ah I want to stuff into boxes first Address stamp and mail convey. Better put stuff into the box. Ah, there we go. Right, yeah. Got you. Woo! <laughs> oh, right, yeah, cool. There, ah, right. Yeah, this does look really. Looks really nice and also. Ooh! Ha! Ah, ah, I love how you just bang into things like that and it's just like. A, it's got comedy sound effects. <laughs> Pack that up. that engine foul <laughs> this has got a completely load of boxes I'll have another go at it because I also had that technical issue that happened halfway through but Let's not get fired this time, that'd be good. No! This way, I think. No!
There we go. Oh, we got ten minutes. Input, I oh know, input career, no, it's not clear. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, 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 let me just say that. Ah, pack boxes here to stamp. Put this in here. I guess. It is quite funny how they've kind of got a slippy floor level there. Bouncing around and something. Oh, no! Yeah, that's better. Oh. What? What's it? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the noise. Yeah, this is really polished. I wish there was another person to play it with, actually. Yeah, send that off. Send my f Yay, I got 15 quid. <laughs> Baker Street? That's uh, Sherlock Holmes. I don't know if that's intentional, but I'm sure that's Sherlock Holmes. It's a little Easter egg that the developers have put in there. Is that true? I just said as the developers on here. Is that a reference to Sherlock Holmes, I guess? In Baker Street? Haha! <laughs> of course. I thought so. Uh, it's a good series, actually. Well, and it goes beyond Benedict Cumberbatch, doesn't it, of course? Oh, wicked. So let's, see what, let's see what address I get next, see if I recognise it. Do, 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 do. I'll do a few more packing bits and bobs, because I've got some other games to go through, but this is really... I think, like someone said on the track, it's very polished. It's quite... There's a nice little dose of humour in this as well. Uh, the sound effects are quite comedy. It's quite funny how your model kind of just, like, can slip around a bit. And it's not over the top, though. It's kind of... It's just enough for it to be a funny aspect, I suppose. You can kind of have a lot of funny little bits where you kind of just go a little bit off and then it ends up... Hello. Okay, so no. Oh! What did I do? Oh, I put the wrong thing in. Idiot. Ooh! Ah! <laughs> Okay, so we've got a lamp to do next. That's all I need, yeah. There, a lamp. Just a lamp. So I should be able to do this one, and then I'll uh, call it a day. If, as long as I don't get fired. I'm only on 45 quid. Do, 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 do. So it really be interesting with a few more players as well. Because uh, I'll also only doing it single, single player, which isn't the real way it's supposed to be played. But there we go, put that in there. <laughs> gimme, gimme. It's a bit a lot, I bet it's a lot more fast paced when you've got a few more people doing it as well. So where does it get sent now? Grim Old Place, London. Okay, I don't recognise that one. Anyway, I'm going to have to go into another game, but... Um, that was Mint. I can't really say anything more than that, really. It's, uh, I think a few people are saying in the chat it's very polished. It's a, it's a finished game, really. It's... Uh, very well made, but I'm just going to close some of these tabs down in a second. There we go, so I'm just going to rate this now on the old. Uh, yeah, it's, it's fun. I didn't get the full experience obviously because I was just doing it single player, but um, I got enough. Um, how does it fit the theme? Um, it did. In a not in a way in a way that's I guess not as obvious as some of the other ones like the space running out of space one and you know one one where 
you're in space and stuff, but really, well, it does really because it's about packing, which just goes into space, I suppose. Uh, in terms of the innovation, it's really, the graphics are really nice. Kind of, and they, I thought the humour was really good too. Overall moods, just yeah, it's fine. I'm trying to fix that, everything kind of. So yeah, I've given that a rating now. And I'm going to go on to the next game, but that was really good. Uh, yeah, I suppose I, I didn't know what I was doing really in the half of, of it, but this is why your boss constantly kept deducting your wage. Uh, yeah. Oh, for the I'm not taking any more game submissions for now, but I might I might do another Twitch stream later on. So um, I'll try and keep any ones after. Um, but I'll 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 try. that one and I'd recommend playing that I'd say if, if, if you want to play that as well get get some mates together and that be it seems like the ideal way to play that one so the next game I'm on is I don't know see if you're still in the chat it is F Gen P yep play your game and I'm gonna be playing encroaching I'm just gonna close some of these tabs down because I've got about a million tabs open now uh, as can happen. Oh, nice! Looks like a Patronus from Harry Potter, I suppose. Mm, ha habitat is no longer habitable. Grab your headphones and the gamepad. To I don't have a gamepad, but I'll just use the keyboard. This looks interesting. It's like a very atmospheric game so far. So let's get in there are you on okay so the developers watching that's good so let's uh let's have a go let's use the full screen it made by made for them there by Avascoog and Marty uh sorry I'm gonna not pronounce this correctly at all Marty Kavim Strom I think this could be a Harry Potter yeah I did think Patronus actually when I saw that. Nice. Cool. Oh wow. Hello. Who are you? Ah not, not someone I want. A hunter. <laughs> not a friendly person. He's a hunting man. Can I run? Is there where I can run by the way? No, <laughs> Bambi, no, yeah. Oh, shit. Bambi's mother here, kind of thing. Uh oh. Run, 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 run. Oh, there's hunters everywhere. Ah! Is there a way I can run, by the way? I don't want to run from these people who want to shoot me. Okay, so. The graphics are nice, though, like, really ambient. Also, we're. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Innocent deer just going up to the hunter. Who are you? Oh, boom, shotgun to the face. Ah! So, ah! It's a dreamy, ethereal vibe. Okay, so you've got to be stealthy. So you can hear that, I mean, I think sound plays an element in this game where you've got, you can hear the hunters laughing in the background, so you kind of got it. That was close. You kind of hear them laughing. It's spooky, really. The music's really well done. It's got that ambient, spooky feeling to it. Kind of Apex Twin. Oh, shit. 
I did do well then, but better than the first time round anyway. Hello, how are you? Boom. <laughs> so yeah, I really like the music. The graphics are ah, the model of the hunters are good actually. Ah, oh, bugger. The hunters are good actually because they've got like, this ambient light around them. It's kind of yellow ambient light. The whole vibe of this game is spooky. Uh, that's what I'm getting really. Spooky, dreamy, ethereal survival game. Uh, ah! I think the sound plays an important element in this game as well. Uh, so, like, you can hear when they're hearing the reloading and stuff. When you hit when they're reloading, you've got to when they're just about to aim. Hunters are evil bastards. Just hear them cackling in the background. Oh no! Shit! Run, run! Oh. I think maybe if sprint was incorporated as like a um, some kind of so it's like on a on a you had like a limited amount of it that might be good because there is I think that might be a good thing to possibly incorporate but only in a limited amount so you could just oh shit oh I was trying to escape then see that then if it would it would, might have been good just to have like a little bit of a sprint that I could do otherwise there's nowhere I can get away from oh that's me I'm dead is that supposed to be there or is that is that me from the previous round Oh, there's an in, there's an in, there's an end game to stay. All right, I'm gonna try and find, get to the end, as it were. It's not time based, so I guess it must be finding the end of the map. Okay, cool. I mean, I like that. Anyway, it's like, it's, it's, uh, adds the spookiness. Why? I'm gonna try and. I'm guessing I have to find an end point of the map. Uh oh, don't want to go there. Don't want him. Nowhere near. I like these kind of uh, again adding to the ethereal vibe. It's almost like snow, but it's not. It's kind of glowing, orby. Uh, yeah. So I think Fern should pay. We'll link you up with that. It's, I'm playing the HTML5 version at the minute, so there's a few different versions, I think. Uh oh. Ah! No way I could have escaped that, I don't think. I have to really oh, pay attention to the sound. Ah! I want to die now. Oh, we missed somehow. Oh, the hunters are so evil, man. Ah! Ah! I want to try to get under the tree then. I played actually a similar game to this last game jam, which is uh, another. It's like another game we played a deer, but you had to run away from things. But it was a bit slightly less developed than this actually, because it was you basically in a big room and you had to run away from something that's chasing you. But as a deer as well, I think. So yeah, Ludden Dare is the precedence for deer games, but this is nice. Ah! Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna. I'm going to give it another few minutes to try and beat it because I've got to go through some other games as well but this is really nice work it's spooky vibes almost vaporwave in a way <laughs> vaporwave haunting hunting game so pretty original uh, graphically it's really nice one. try walking as straight a line as possible ok so I'll die and I'll try walking as straight a line yeah, because I'm, I'm kind of just, I'm not putting going around in circles now. Uh, for any anyone who's submitting games now, I can I'm only got a few more I can play through now, but um, I'll try. I might I'll probably do a Twitch uh, stream in the evening as well. 
so I might be able to play some of them later on. And uh, probably the if you uh, check on my Ludum Dare feed, I'll I'll be posting when I'm streaming later on as well. So okay. Uh, I think I've spent a while on that. Is it really? I mean, it's really. Uh, that was encroaching. So if anybody wants to play that, that is on. It's called encroaching on Ludum Dare. Uh, I'm just going to rate it now. So I'm just going to do that. Um, the graphics on the audio I'm rating very highly because those really well done elements I think the mood as well I'm rating very highly there's the highest I'm giving it the highest mood rating I think I've done for anything so far just because that was a very important factor in the game uh, it wasn't really any humour in the game it was more I mean there's the cackling but that wasn't really Humorous. I'm not going to rate it on that because it's it's not really relevant. But yeah, it's a really atmospheric, interesting game. Uh, if I didn't have other games to go through, I would have tried to get to the end of it. But yeah, that's nice. Uh, no worries. Okay, so on to the next game now, which I think. Is a game I've already played, but I'll play it again because it was quite fun. Um, but already, I have already reviewed and rated it actually, but I will play it again just for the benefit of anyone watching. Uh, okay, so I have to go. I have to scroll quite far up. I don't want to miss anybody. <clears throat> so I should have probably. Uh, Organised it a bit better, it's just, just on the fly, as it were. Ah, uh, can I scroll up for it? Uh, I don't want to miss anybody's game, that's the problem. Okay. Ah, uh, can I scroll up even further? I don't think it lets you scroll up far enough. Um, That sucks. Uh, I'm not sure if I can scroll up further than where I am now because also there's been a bit of chat. Um, okay, so I should have planned this better. Um, so I've got a few more submissions coming through now, but I can't actually scroll up to the older ones. It doesn't look like from before. So if anybody's still in the chat who submitted before, can you just let me know from earlier on? I mean, because uh, I've got to get to get into another game now. So in the meantime, I'm going to play Dogs on the Bed, which sounds quite interesting, by Sharky318. Oh, this looks cool. Submit. Okay, so I'm going to line a few of these up. Uh, comfort zone. Sorry, I'm like, because I kind of just started this Twitch randomly. I didn't, I wasn't really anticipating getting so many submissions. So I'm gonna, I've, I've basically, uh, for anybody watching now, uh, I'm gonna. These are the. This is the order of stuff I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna go dogs on the bed, and then I'm gonna go high factory, running out of graves, and comfort zone, and then if, and then after that I'm gonna call it for now. So uh, that's just the that's the running order of things. If I've missed anybody, could you just let me know on the feed on uh, my Ludum Dale when I'll do a post there. If I've missed anybody in this chat. And I'll try and cover you because I know I've missed probably two other people. So I'll just do that later on when I do an evening stream. So if you could just let me know, and I'll I'll, I'll uh, get onto it. So at the minute I am playing Sharky Free One Eighty Eight Dogs on the Bed, a fun little puzzle game. You pick up dogs and rotate them to fit onto the bed. Make sure you don't leave dogs off the bed for too long as you, they may get too cold and wake up. <laughs> this looks like fun. 
So is a HTML5 version, so I'll try that one first. <laughs> Dog's not bad. Left click, pick up, put down dog, A and D. Okay, so it looks like it's pretty simple control, which is good. It's A and D. Dog's on the bed. Don't let your furry friends get too cold. Keep them snuggly and warm in the bed. Stack certain dogs on top of each other. Get as many points as possible. Get enough points to unleak a s unlock a secret new dog. Uh, let's get a dog. Oh. <laughs> okay. How do I don't. I'm not sure how I keep them warm. Oh. oh. Ah. Let's pick up this dog. There you go. Let's put that plunk on there. <laughs> the dog has become a popsicle. Oh dear, one of them got too cold. Uh, sound effects are funny. I guess they keep warm by. How do I keep them warm? So I don't. Uh, that's <laughs> this is really funny. Version of like interpretation of the theme. Ah! Where are you gonna fit? <laughs> no! <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> Since the developers made the sound effects of the dog themselves. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, they're very convincing actually, <laughs> it's the sound effects. It's uh, scarily, scarily convincing dog sounds. The graphics, uh, sweet man. Like, the dogs look really, really good. It's like husky, or husky kind of Malamute, I suppose. It's, uh, let's get this. I'm gonna try and be a bit faster on it. I think I'm failing so bad because the large dogs are difficult to know how to place him. I guess there's a method, but I'm just. Mm, High school so far has been in the twenties. Ah, oh, I'm taking too long over this one. Ah, no, I'm gonna bite. It's gonna one of the dogs gonna get too cold. Ah, small dogs get cold the fastest. Okay, I think it's said on the instructions as well to place them on the, on and off the floor as well. So ah. Uh, okay, quit item. I'm gonna. I'll try your game in the evening. Just if you could just repost that when I do the. Because I've got. I've done. I've got four lined up now, which I have to go through. So if you could just post that on the next post I do on for the next stream, that would be good. Ah. I get a, ah, yeah. You have to be quiet. Ah. <laughs> okay, there's a little doggy on there. Still not beating my last score very really well. Okay, I'm doing better now. We're getting to the 27s. Ah, I think we're getting around to about 27, 28, and then just. Failing big time. Uh, okay. The dog models are nice, really, really well done. I don't know if. Do you do these all yourself? Or it, you can also rearrange. Oh, okay, yeah. So you can rearrange them a bit, that's good. Ah! So, does. Is stacking the dogs, does that keep them warm as well? As in, like, if they're stacked on top of each other or near each other, does that keep them warm? Uh, it would be, if I was going to say anything, like, uh, I've got no way of telling how warm or cold they are, I suppose, so that would be quite, that would be quite useful as a player, I think, to be able to see that, like, even if it's just as a bar or something, I suppose. Status bar. 
It's the artist like, hey, well, the models are really nice. Like, they're, they, they're, they're like realistic, but stylized at the same time. Ah! They turn blue when cold. Okay, so they're turning. It's, not, it's the color indication. No. I don't need to watch the colour of them. Okay, I'm doing a bit better now. Oh no, it is this big guy then. Put him down for now. Sorry, mate. <laughs> oh, that big one's annoying. Right, I need to rearrange some. Ah! I'm doing better now. I'm 44 is the best round. Ah! Okay, so I've got other games to go on to, but um, yeah, really well done. Like the graphics, there's a kind of like a nice soft focus on some of it as well. I've noticed on just done like the lamp bit around here, and um, oh, is that like a book for dummies there in the corner? <laughs> um, so yeah. That was uh, Dogs on the Bed, which is an intriguing one. Uh, so it was created by a team of two, a programmer and an artist, in the 72 hour time frame. They used Maya, Photoshop and Substance Paint at Audacity and Unity. So I'm just going to rate that, Dogs on the Bed. And I'm going to go on to the next game, which I think is going to be High Factory. And I've got, like I said, I've got three more games to go through now. I'm not accepting any more submissions for this stream. Uh, so, and that was a good interpretation of the theme as well. It was fun. I wanted to keep on playing it. Uh, the graphics are really nice. I'm going to rate that very highly in graphics. There's a bit of humour there as well. Uh, a bit like kind of Easter eggy humour, I suppose. The, do the book is Dog Stacking 101. <laughs> like that, for example. <laughs> Dog Stacking 101. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm just going to close a few tabs because I've got too many open at the minute. And then the next game I'm going on to is High Factory. So if the developer for High Factory is in, can you just give us a shout or say something? Try and find John here. Ah, yeah, so it's D D G Dima. <sighs> okay, cool. So that you're you're there, you're here, moving. So that's good. Uh, high factory. Okay. So now we're playing High Factory by developer Jima. I tried to make something like Factorio and Berlin to say, so I had a lot of ideas, but too, too few to implement them all. That's a common story for everybody, I think. <laughs> we saw some kind of a survival sandbox game with a bit of progression. Okay. This looks like a kind of building game. Uh, looks like I'm. Okay, this looks really interesting, so let's just play it. Uh, let's install it, so I just need to get into the edge page now. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to look at some of the uh, instructions while I'm here. Craft stone tools, create auto mining, use ultimate iron mining. I'll. Uh, I have actually Windows. Just installing the game now. So I'll put a little dairy. Where is it? Okay. okay, so we've got to launch High Factory. Not <coughs> uh, window, no, just play the full screen. Let's get it auto. Oh, here we are. Let's collect this tree. 
see what I can do with it. I need to get three of them, I think. According to the sign, do all the sign says. <laughs> it's got three, I've uh, got three dots, just like four, if we can. Just an unlock. Ah, I built a bridge. Press tab to open inventory. Craft tools for faster mining. So I need some more materials first. I need to get some more wood for those. Gather some more wood together. It's just some kind of crafting game. Um, so our initial thoughts, like graphics. Uh, Nice, that's the kind of stylized low poly look. Um, I kind of feel like it would really benefit from music in the background, especially like a lot of games like this where it's kind of got this look. Always benefit from a, even if it's almost like a 16 bit, 8 bit kind of uh, music track. But let's just kind of get into this a bit more, make something. So I need five of those, we've got that, so that's cool. And what? We've got a bridge. Need five. Ah. Okay, what's this? Craft furnace and coal and iron to get more iron. Craft furnace then coal. Ah, so I need to get a furnace. I need to get more of this. Oh, I need to get more of that. Is there any limit to how much you can collect in these items? Uh, I don't know for the what kind of difference that makes. Is there a limit to how many of these you can collect? Cool. Thank you, Pigeon P. I need to build a furnace down as well. Yeah. Okay, okay, you can see I think I need to put that into furnace. I put it into the furnace. Um. Okay. Close enough, anyway. Um. How? Just out of. How do I access my uh, inventory? I put the. Um, uh, what's it? The colonel into the furnace. So I've got the furnace now. Uh, I'm not sure how I get that in there. Place a furnace in the hot bar. Uh, Oh, yeah, sorry, I mean, don't. Uh, I think I need to. Yeah, put that there. There we go. One. Uh, so, do I select. There's, there's, can I, uh, ah, there we go. Right. Right, sorry, I got it now. Stack. 
Take in go. That's an to create a few of those really. Place place again, place again, place again, place again. Right. Makes a bit more sense now. I just did working out the controls before. So I get it now, I get the controls. I should have really looked at the instructions a bit more. It's just uh, when you're rushing through some of this stuff it's not always easy to take it all everything in, I suppose, at once. Uh, I mean, this is like it's quite a lot going on here in terms of all the crafting and that. So, I'll take the ingot here. Uh, let's get seven of these done. Place, and I think it'll remember. Yeah, it'll remember that element is in that, on that part of the menu, so that's good. Um, like I said, uh, I mean, it's got footsteps. There is sound on the game. I wish it had a bit more, like when you when you like blasting the furnace, or whatever. But obviously, I'm kind of nitpicking because this is a game made in 48 hours or 72 hours. So. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. So we've got four. Now. Put in the furnace. I'm gonna try and get to the next stage of the. So it's got enough to build another bridge anyway. So it's the next bit. Craft a pickaxe. Create auto miners. Did it say that? Did it say about the craft crafting an axe here or something? I just missed it. Ah. Ah. Okay. Yeah. I'm being. I'm being done. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't need much for that. So I just need to. Uh, yeah. I need to create one more of these, and then I can just get a pickaxe. I've been stupid. Okay, so I've got a pickaxe now. There. So that speeds up the mining bit. Um, this is. Okay, so I'm going to play this for another. I don't want to destroy the machines. Is there any advantage to destroying machines? Or does he just get the, uh, the bits back? Um, I think there's something to do auto mining here, so I need 15 bits of wood. I, want, I, want, I guess if I scout quick bits of wood. Keep it for now anyway, just in case I need it for something else. And then I'll um, see what it's auto miners, and then uh, get on to the next game. Um, did you do the models yourself, or did you uh, get, use an asset pack or something? So we're just tuning in. I'm just playing. Uh, uh, what's it called again? What's the game called again? So, um, it's a crafting game. So, uh, so I've got 15 of those. Create auto miners. So I need to find an auto miner. Create auto miner. Oh, I need more. Bits and bobs. I need some more iron ingots. So I have to. Okay, so I'm gonna probably have to go off this now. So I could probably spend another forty minutes playing this. Um, but yeah, this is this is a, it's a crafting game. It's about all about resources, finding 
resources, crafting bits and bobs. Uh, so I'm just going to leave a review of that. Let's escape, 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 escape. Uh, is there any... Okay, so the developer made all the models as well, especially like this one. The trees. So that is quite nice as well. All that. Um, is there any typical way to escape it? I just need to. Ah. That's high factory. High factory. Okay, so I, I, because uh, I've got to get through a few other games, um, I can't really go in depth into that because it looks like you can, from the screen grabs, it looks like you can really go crazy with it, crafting and making things. Um, it's best. I mean, for in terms of how fast it's been made, it's quite it's an ambitious build. Um, if I was going to have any criticism, and this is just really nitpicking, it's just more sound probably would be good. But it's a it seems quite ambitious. And I haven't had enough, I haven't really got enough time to really properly um, dive into a lot of it. But yeah, it's, uh, it's, I'm going to score it highly on innovation. Uh, Develop made all the same graphics. It's not really, it's not really a humorous game. It's not really that kind of game. It's more of a serious game. Uh, yeah, so that was that one done. So, thank you, uh, thank you, Gima, or Dima. So that was it. Yeah, that's a really interesting game. And we've got two more games to go now for this session, so we're going to play Running Out of Graves. So if the Running Out of Graves developer is here, speak now. Uh, so that's King Louis. And thank you for that, Dima. Uh, I think it's King Louis, X King Louis. Running out of graves next. So this is in running out of graves. You're the gravekeeper of a spooky graveyard. Your job is to bury the corpses before they rot and turn into evil zombies. But not the only the undead have evil in mind. So let's download the Windows version of this. So I'm playing Running Out of Graves. Where'd that go? Ah. So we're just tuning in. I'm just playing a few little data games. I've only got two more to play in this session, and I'm going to call it for now, and then I'll do another one this evening I think as well, because I do have other things to do, but this is fun, so I'll do it for as long as I can, uh, running out of graves, now by X King Louis. I'm not sure if you're in the chat, but if you are, just shout, shout out, there we go, so we're loading the game up now, X King Louis. Running out of graves, press space to dig the graves. Hold space to drag corpses to the graves. Or very close, they can turn into angels. Don't open graves for souls into heaven. Don't open too many graves. It will attract more of these. Until this looks a lot of facts than this, so it could have been quite chaotic. Space. 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 Grave. I think he's in the grave now. Another dead body. Gravekeeper. Ah. Uh, arsonist. Oh, you idiot. Is he turning into a. Yes. Oh, yeah, you have to. The proper barium. That's a little bit of music. Ah. Oh, arsonist again. Ah, uh, well, I've got my first zombie. Uh oh. Uh oh, I've got another zombie. Come on. 
Uh oh, can I become a zombie? Ah! I'm doing terribly. <laughs> Come on, become, I want a, an angel. <laughs> I did the opposite of good then. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Oh, yeah, you have to. Ah, I just have to. Okay, so I'm from an angel on this? Yeah, right. It's like this. Isn't it? Oh, there you go. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Right, I'm just missing you, really. I get it now. I just have to have a couple of them. I mean, the, I guess it's. I mean, it's covering the running out of space theme in a few ways. You've got a limited amount of graves. You've got this kind of ah, light that you can only see through. I don't know if I've saved any souls. I don't know how that happens. I don't think King Louis on. So the developer's not here, but I'll try and find him later. Ah! Arsonists. Zombies. It's all going to hell. In the higher bit of basket. Oh, the devil's got him. <laughs> ah, I don't know how to save the souls. Wait, I'll read the instructions again a bit. Running out of graves is the game I'm playing right now. Um, you have to basically bury... Try, I'm trying to figure out at the minute how to save these people's souls, because it's not... Why is the devil taking him? Buried them. The devil keeps on taking them. The devil. The devil. It's the devil. The damn devil. Devil taking them again. Morning. 